Hey guys, this is Kyle, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make artificial intelligence in Flash. Uh, what artificial intelligence is, is basically when something does something by itself, it thinks for itself kind of thing. So this is something I made about 10 minutes, I would say, so let me just show you this. So as you can see, it just randomly chooses its spot at random. Like it just thinks for where it wants to go. Like I, I, there's no destined point. It doesn't end. There's no collision boxes, so it doesn't like bounce or anything. It just goes wherever the hell it wants to go. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Now I'm actually gonna type it all out again. See, I'll show you the code right here. It's not that difficult but I'll explain it as I'm going, but I'm going to be doing this in action script, not in action, so I can just like replicate the guy. So anyways, let's start a new file. Alright, so I'm assuming you know a bit about coding, it's not that difficult. For this tutorial, I'd say it's like 305 on the hardness scale, it's not hard, it's just a bit of math. Alright, so let's choose action script 3.0. Alright, so this is our stage, and on our stage, what we're going to do is we're going to draw our character. I'm going to do something, well, I just, I'm going to be lazy and do it before. You could have your own character, but I'm just going to make my own character, so let's do that. Okay, let's make this one blue, though. Okay. A bit of a stroke. Okay. Now, let's make him into a movie clip use sprite if you want, but I'm not going to, I'm going to export this for action script, alright, let's name him, um, uh, guy, I actually care, yeah, the class name is the same, so I just hit the pencil, save it, uh, this is it, I'm just going to save it in here, I'm going to be lazy, there, game, sure, I have one down there, Alrighty, so now that we have our character hit enter, he doesn't really do anything yet. So that's what we're going to be coding. So I'm going to be coding all this into here. So it might be a little tricky. If you want to do an action, so you can just move it from there into here. Okay, well let's do our first import. We're going to import flash.events.event. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to add event listener. So add event listener event dot dot enter frame which is right there and we're gonna call the function update just to keep things simple. All right, I'm gonna make that stage in front of it too. Okay, let's make our uh, update function. So function update add our argument in. Okay. Keyboard sometimes screws up and changes it. Shift plus control fixes it though. So, anyways, now that our updates in, um, I know it works. But if you don't, if you don't know if it works, you can actually just type trace, like put in the quotation, put like meow or something. Right, let's text that works. And it doesn't. That's odd. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I spawned the other one. Actually, I'm just going to close that. Okay, so now that we know this works, what we can do is actually start uh, coding it. Um, some of you guys might see saying, Kyle, you don't have to use the integers, you can just use a point, but I prefer using integers. Points just get really confusing at points. So we're just going to use integers here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make two variables, variable px and variable py right and we're gonna this is gonna be a type you can use number or integer let's just use an integer just type integer okay so now that we have that what we can do is we're gonna make another variable or it's gonna call variable speed which again is gonna be an integer this one we're gonna set a value for it I mean it's uh, six we could change at any point uh, I'm 
before I work on the update function, I'm going to make a function that chooses those at random. So function point select, I guess. No arguments. And this is actually going to be quite easy. So px equals math dot random uh, empty parentheses times the width of the stage. So mine's 550. Then I'm just going to copy that and times that by 400 and change this to y because the y is 400 high and now that that's done what we can do is when this is first loaded we want to uh, put this in front of our event listener so our point select called it a function yeah. alright so now it's selected test if there's no errors no errors okay now we can work on the update function so now I'm going to make it go to the x first so what we're going to do is we're going to detect on which side the point is compared to his x or his uh, position on the scale so here I'll explain it here uh, say this is our grid and our guy's right here and the x point chooses here chooses right there uh, we want him to go right because we don't, we, he doesn't go left if you want to match up the y's so that's just what we're going to do right now so we're, if I'm doing x so if px is say greater than uh, our character's x so x then we'll actually make it equals x because if you don't if you, actually it doesn't really matter so just do it greater, then it will do the following, which will be x dot x plus equals speed. Yeah, okay, and x minus equals speed. So that's done. There we go. So, I'll turn it again. As you can see, it matches itself up with the X every time it's random. So, you can go right or it'll, it'll go left at some point. And, well, it didn't start. So, uh, now what we we'll do is we're going to test whether it is on the spot. So, if this dot x uh, is equal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. so if this dot x is equal to uh, the pointed x so px then it will do the following which is I'm just going to make a testing trace test but we also want, but the thing is, is our speed is six pixels per update. So what we could do is it would say it was, this was right here at 10 pixels and this was at three pixels. If it goes over six, um, six plus three is nine and nine is not equal to 10, but it can't go over anymore because then that would be 14. So you, so you have to detect whether or not it's inside. If that makes sense. Alright, so if this dot x is greater than, is greater or equal to, I think it's that one, yeah, that way, I can never just, I never know which side the equal is on, then that plus, I think actually it's just minus, isn't it? Speed, and, and is two and symbols, by the way, this dot x plus speed and this goes the other way so let's test this here and in our parentheses we're good it works okay so now inside this we're gonna actually just copy and paste this make a little bit of room so we know where we're working here 
change this to Y, change this to Y, change this to Y, change these all to Y, really. Y, Y. Let's, let's test this. Alright, so it seems to be working quite good. So now what we can do is just get rid of that and get rid of this room. If you need to, you can actually just space this. This that goes to the Y Y chord, and this one goes to the X. But I'm not gonna bother with that. All right, now we can actually just copy this part and again. Change out the X's for Y's. This one got out of test, so trace test. Alright, so it does work, and we're going to then do the function point select so it resets the points. It should go on forever. So, yeah, uh, we can change the speed over here to say 2, and it goes much slower. One is even slower, and you can, you can make it like 15, oh, 15 S isn't really anything, 15, which is really quick, but I think 4 is going to be good, so 4. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is, let's just get a whole bunch of these, there we go, just get a whole bunch of them it's my phone okay there we go we got all these dots and they just roam freely